Hi, I'm Bonnie Browning with AQS. And at each of our shows, we always have some very special exhibits for the quilters to view. And we are especially as excited this year here at Grand Rapids that we have the quilts of Eileen O'Toole Stannis. And I'm here today with Kathy, her daughter, and her husband, George. Unfortunately, we lost Eileen in 2012, but her quilts are gonna live on forever. Uh, and so I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about some of the things you remember about your mother and her quilting. And so what's a, a memory that you have of your mother? My mom, actually, I have her very first experimental quilt. She made it for me when I went away to college. She had um, broken a leg. And we had sewn all our clothes. You know, So you have scraps of your skirt, scraps of your dress shorts, pajamas, and so forth. So she assembled that all together and made me a quilt. Now really, it looked beautiful, but it wasn't done the way that this quilt was quality at this day and age, but I loved it to death. I kind of retired that quilt too. So that but was I, your college quilt? That was my college quilt. Okay, we all make those. I know. <laughs> so then she started becoming interested with many of her friends that she had gone to nurses training with, they all become interested in quilting, so they all kind of gathered their own little group, sought off a really good instructor. I think it was Lola Choinsky out in Washington, yes. Michigan, yes. and they started taking some classes from her. And she was just awestruck by, you know, the technique and the quality and what to do to get the impact and the look and the feel that you want. And so I think that was the beginning stages of it. That was back in 77, 78. So around the corner is her very first professional quilt. And you could really see how she bloomed and blossomed from all the skills and the training and, and working together with a team, you know, for criticism and tips and so forth. So she had just created a love and a passion for it, you know. And we have all of her quilts hanging in succession in the order that she produced them and so it is a lot of fun to see how she changed her exactly. quilting style and the design exactly. she used all right mr stannis um uh, tell us about the first time she got a call or or that she won a ribbon at the paducah quilt show oh that kathy was happened to be with her they were on their the, the next day they were supposed to go to paducah but they got a phone call the night before that she was a winner and a gingham award winner for stitching and Kathy was with her going all the way down and she said she was on cloud nine she could have floated <laughs> all the way to Paducah that well, particular day and yes and the quilt that you're talking about is hanging right behind us too that's her baltimore remembered quilt that won the ginger award for workmanship yes, wasn't it yes and oddly enough bonnie she made this quilt because she wanted to win that award are you that was kidding her goal. that was her passion she says i can't win any other prizes for my quilts she says i want to take home the ginger award and she won it so it's just it's just a fabulous experience and i believe that had a ten thousand dollar prize with it yes. too didn't it yes exactly. it did yes that didn't hurt either did it no <laughs> but it didn't take her long to spend it <laughs> just imagine how much fabric she got to buy with that money no, she took her sister to ireland oh she took a trip with that well, money they both wanted to see the old side the old tools you know they uh -huh. They got to go see the old, old sod. Well, and you didn't even have to pay for it. No, I didn't. <laughs> but I had a stay home babysit. <laughs> well, so tell me some other things about your mother and, and your wife uh, that you remember about her well, quilts and quilting. From day one, she just couldn't keep her hands still. Uh, she knitted, she uh, did uh, Afghans. And she did uh, took the stocking hats and the scarves. She helped Kathy make an eight, eight, uh, eight foot scarf for her friend in college, believe it or not. <laughs> she knit it for uh, bazaars. And when she made mittens for the children, she always made them in 
a pairs of three in case they lost one. Oh, so they got three mittens instead of two. That's right, because our children always, they were wild, they were throwing snowballs, they wear them out, or she even made me hunting guns, uh, hunting uh, mittens. Uh, mittens. Oh, really? Yes, with a, trigger with a trigger finger. Do you know, I made one pair of mittens, and one fit really good, and the other was about this long. Yeah, so, but, <laughs> That's a talent. But she always had to have her hands going all the time. And when she found out that she could put little pieces of cloth together uh, from the beginning, it was, it was wild. So take a beautiful piece of cloth, cut it up in pieces and <laughs> sew it right back together and make it look like something like this. Yes. Now, she did most of her work, too, by hand, didn't Absolutely. she? All of it. Absolutely. All of it. Yes. And so we don't see very many quilters today. They're doing all of their work by hand. Yes. And, you know, and some folks, I have to share, too, that many think, God, you know, it takes a long time. Aren't you bored on just working on one quilt? She had three or four or five different tops going at the same time so that she would have a little bit of variety. So she'll work for a length of time on one, set it down, and go to another one. So there was always this freshness going on. She wasn't just, she always had a quilt on the frame to do the stitching, but she always had other piecing ideas already in action. Do you know, I figured that out when we were working on getting ready to make the tags for the quilt, mm -hmm. because there are some quilts that she did two in one year, and I'm going, how did she do this? Exactly. Well, she oh. had them going in different stages. Exactly. Yes. Sir. Exactly. yes. So. Well, thank you all of your family for sharing these beautiful quilts with us here at AQS Quilt Week. Uh, and I know just from the people that I've seen walking around and looking at the quilts, everyone else is enjoying them too. I, I Are you ladies uh, enjoying them? Yeah. We yeah, have an audience here. <laughs> I, w I would like to special thanks to the young quilters. They were so, they were so nice to me. Every every maybe once a month on a Tuesday, they'd all come to the house and see them all sitting around the table. They were all just mothers and they sewed together so long, they become grandmothers. And I enjoyed their company all the time and I appreciate everything they're doing here for Eileen today. Well, and you know, what that shows us is that quilting is timeless and you can do it at any age. And mm -hmm. I know that your wife, I'm sure, enjoyed every minute of being with them too. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, here I am back with some of those young quilters that George was talking about. And so I'm gonna let them tell us some stories about your working with Eileen. Well, first of all, we were really privileged and lucky that she came into our lives. She was, belonged to our guild, the Great Lakes Heritage Quilters, and I didn't meet her until after she'd won the award, and I wanted to learn how to applique. So um, we came to her kind of afraid, because yeah, <laughs> she was a big personality. Yes, and you knew she and was really good. Really yeah. good. <laughs> and asked, you know, complimented her, of course, and um, asked if she would teach us how to applique, and she said yes. And then the next thing you know, we're at her front, her front door, Eileen Stannis' front door. And we were in and we just became fast friends so quickly. And she taught us how to applique and she joined our stitch group. And that now it was 19 years ago. We spent 17 years every other week, Tuesdays at each other's houses. And um, we've been to Paducah together. And it, it was so much fun. She taught me how to applique, and the quilt she taught me for it made it to Paducah and actually won a prize. Really? Yes. Wonderful. And so her quilt was hanging, and we would go from her quilt and listen to people. And then we would go to my quilt and listen to people, and we really had a good time. She, if you were with Eileen, you were having fun. And, and you know what, you didn't tell us your name, but I'm going to oh. tell them that you're Diane Ledoux. Yeah. And between Kathy, George's daughter, and Diane, we worked about two years, really, to mm -hmm. get this exhibit here. 
And so thank you for working with you me to welcome. make sure that we got this wonderful <laughs> exhibit. My pleasure and honor. It's so exciting. <laughs> okay, so we have some more quilters, young quilters yes. here. So <laughs> tell us who you are and give us a favorite memory from working with Eileen. I'm Linda Fitzpatrick and I'm not chronologically the youngest, but in order of being with the group, I'm the youngest quilter that, that was with this group. And it was just an incredible honor to sit and watch her work. She um, just was so precise and so delightful to be with and had a lot of Irish Blarney, which I'm used to from my family, so that made it even more special. She just was a, a very gifted, talented woman, and I feel very honored to have been part of this group. And actually, obviously very sharing, because you know that's one of the best parts of quilting, mm -hmm. is that we share with one another. And boy, if you had a quilt in Paducah, and, and, and you all learned how to applique, she did share her technique. She oh, did. Yeah. and that was one of my favorite memories, was being able to go to Paducah with Eileen and, yes. and the rest of this group. So that was a gift. Okay. Um, my name is Joyce Cushing, and I was one of the young quilters that went with Diane here to learn how to applique from Eileen. Mm -hmm. And you didn't want to do anything slapdash when she was around, because you knew that she would critique your work. <laughs> so she made me a better quilter. She taught me how to hand quilt. I sat with her and uh, she showed me how to rock the needle. And she also showed me how to make her crazy quilt stockings, which we don't have here, but she's made them for the governor and anybody else who would ask her to make them. The Red Wings. Um, she just was an incredible, yeah. incredible talent. And um, it was a gift to have had her in my life. My name is Carol Fulton. I'm one of the young quilters. And a memory that I have of Eileen is we called her the wise one. Yeah. She was so full of knowledge and um, is so wonderful to be around. Everything she said, we listened to. So if there was anyone else talking, we wanted them to, you know, I don't know. Stop just, talking. Just, <laughs> listen, <laughs> and listen to what we had to say because everything she said was like old to us. Everything was. She had a lot of wisdom. A lot mm -hmm. of wisdom. Yeah. We learned a lot, a lot about life from her. Well, and you know, isn't that the fun part of being with a quilt group is yes. that you get to share both the miseries and the good things together. Mm -hmm. yep. yeah. And then you get to share the quilts together, which is even better. Yes, yes, yeah. absolutely. Well, thank all of you for sharing some of your insights of You're being welcome. with Eileen. And um, I, I'm going to look for some of your quilts in Paducah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure and there's going to be some. That. Yes, she I would bet love there that. will yeah. be. Let's yeah. hope we can get this one in. Well, yes, and Diane is busy here at the show quilting on the very last top that Eileen finished before she passed away, and so that this one will be finished too. And so you could enter that quilt in Paducah because you stitched on it. You know, you, you can't be an owner of a quilt, you have to be a stitcher on a quilt to enter in Paducah. Okay. So you, you have the capability of, when this is all finished, of entering in our shows. That's our goal. Well, Eileen think, would be there. She yeah. would, she'd say, are you better enter it? <laughs> <laughs> she'd be counting those stitches that you're yeah, always in. Well, <laughs> she's watching. <laughs> well, thank all of you for being with us today. And again, thanks for sharing the quilts. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for doing the show. Hi, I'm Diane Ledoux, and Eileen Stanis was my friend and mentor. And we're quilting the last quilt top that Eileen made. Um, it was all finished. She had one border marked, and we were not quite sure what to do, but there were a few things left laying around near the quilt, and we assumed that's what she wanted us to do. So we finished marking it, got it all basted, and it's being quilted on her frame, and we're using the light that she would use. It's a magnifying light, um, and trying to do the best work that we can do and hope that she's approving. I think it'll take at least a year, maybe a little more than a year to finish with Joyce helping. And um, I don't know, it's the family quilt. So we're just hanging with Eileen while we're doing this. And once it's done, they'll decide. I hope that we can enter it in Paducah. I think that Eileen would like that. She told me once that she never entered a contest that she didn't expect to win. 
and um, we're doing our best work so that maybe it can go to Paducah and take a ribbon. Well, we just learned yesterday, her youngest son, Gordon, was here, and he's, he said to us, did, did you know she never did a single quilt all by herself? And we kind of looked at him in a quizzical way, and he said that he used to sneak in, and on every quilt she ever made, he would put a stitch or two, and she never knew it. So while he was here yesterday, he put a stitch or two in this quilt. So the right, tradition right, continues. Right here. Eileen <laughs> 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 yes. always had a sense of humor, and uh, she, she called us the young quilters. We were 20 years younger than her. We are the young quilters. <laughs> we will we will we finish will always her work. be the young <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs>